I'm a willow artist. I contain and define space. And as an artist, I use willow, dead willow in the form of baskets or whether it's live willow in the form of structures. And I started all of this in the 1980s. I started it with a small import business called English Basketry Willows. Since 2004, I've built over 40 living structures and they are for all sorts of clients from government agencies to corporations to schools to private clients. And I absolutely adore the work, it's, it's highly creative. There are many methods that I've used to do the living structures. Some involves the fedge method, the living fence, but this living tree one behind me is what I call a polling structure, has a metal substructure to it. These living structures have a great potential to involve the community. Um, for example, several years ago, I built this nearly 50 foot long tunnel in Baltimore on Pier 5, opposite the National Aquarium and Pierce's Park. And that involved the whole community. Every day, community people were coming and helping me. So these structures, whether they're geared for the public to be involved, just the public walking by, it's a wonderful form of community art. I love all the pieces I've made. The pieces I do nowadays tend to have greater complexity to them, and that's also based on my skills as an artist as I develop. I'm now getting larger requests for outdoor living rooms that definitely need a substructure within them, but the substructure does allow me to really do any shape I want. There are tremendous challenges working with the live plant material. It would be much easier if I was working in metal or rock or some inert material. It, it, it's, it's wonderful though, but yes, I'm working with the live material. I'm building space with the live material and I've got to keep that live material around. I've got to keep it alive. I have been featured in House and Garden, Vogue Living, Vogue, Early American Life, Fiber Arts Magazines. I have been on the Martha Stewart Show, that was April 2010, um, the PBS series Cultivating Life. It will actually self-root, it will self-graft. I mean, it's absolutely amazing plant material. People ask me how I got into this and I say that Willow chose me. <laughs> <laughs>